My name is Ignacio Garza. Uh, I am a Sergeant Major with 10 Special Forces Group and the Executive Director and Founder of the Special Forces Foundation. Special Forces in general, uh, especially over the last 10 years, has lost more guys to direct combat than the rest of the military combined. Uh, we saw some of the most resilient people in the world starting to kind of fall apart. Families were falling apart. We wanted to do something about it, so we decided to you know, start something small, just a, a small nonprofit run by Green Berets. You gotta step up, you gotta do something, and we had to take control of that, and, and that's what we did, and it, and, it, and it works. All these lessons that we've learned with leadership, with resiliency, with teamwork, how can we share this with our communities and our country? And that was kind of the idea behind the Elite Leadership Development Courses. Our director of play engagement reached out and asked, was it, was it an experience that I wanted to be a part of? And I felt like that would be something cool to try out. He didn't really give all the details of what it was going to be. Kind of left it kind of vague, but um, you know, I, I want to take part in it. I was a little hesitant at first. He kind of gave us a rundown of what would be going on, hanging out with some guys that uh, served our country and uh, learning about leadership. Yeah, man, we had a, a bunch of events. We had a, a challenge where we had to make knives, also a shooting challenge with a rifle and pistol. Land navigation was another big thing. Uh, just kind of le learning how to work a compass and counting your steps and things like that. And then we talked a lot about leadership. And then how can they be value added to the organization? Where is their value? The main thing I learned was their mental approach towards everything. Um, you know, how they go into a mission or how they go into just a day by day life. It was a great experience to enjoy with my teammates and to see those guys do things they've never done and, and to go out there and have fun and, and still compete at the same time. When we were trying to teach them, they were following instruction to the letter. That's awesome. Like, oh, these guys are amazing. And then I realized they've been coached their whole lives. We were doing everything as uh, drills and tactics and things like that, but uh, they do this for real life and the stakes are other lives, honestly. So, man, it's, it just kind of puts in perspective the attention to detail that they have, their, their level of execution and precision. The things that they've seen, the things that they've been through, the, the people that they have helped, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't help but have all the respect for them. I think it was a great experience, and I think that it's great that those uh, the special forces put events like this together and life-changing experience to kind of help people see what they go through. The sacrifices that, that the military makes is, is, is pretty significant. We do it for a higher purpose. We do it you know, to be part of something greater than us. We, you know, we do it for freedom. We're not always seeing what you guys go through, um, you know, what you're Having to hold on to is, you know, dealing with you know, family stuff and mental stuff and physical things. And you know, I respect you guys, and um, I just want to say thank you for your service. Laying your life on the line to protect our country and all the freedoms that we uh, may take for granted at times, but uh, we, we definitely thank you uh, for all that you've done.